Hey folks, I went and broke the piggy bank and I bought a Bamboo Lab PS1. It's not a PS1, it's a P1S with the AMS, the ability to be able to load the four reels. They had an anniversary sale going on, so I'm going to share my experience for the last two weeks. This isn't going to be a technical review, I'm just going to walk you through from my opening the package to doing my first print to testing it. This is my fourth. 3d printer so this thing was so well packed man it was amazing not too impressed with ups dumping it on my front doorstep without a signature you know i said i was going to share my experience with this printer and i was going to give you the good and the bad and the ugly well i am going to give you the fact that while i was unpacking this thing i gotta tell you honestly my impression was that this is cheap okay the quality didn't strike me as being great I own a Kitty Tech Core XY axis printer. The case is steel, so it felt really strong and robust. So I was a little concerned while I was unwrapping it, but after doing those test prints, I'm not so concerned anymore. I mean, this thing is heavy and stable on top of this desk here. It's stable with rubber feet, but I gotta tell you, when this thing is printing, it moves around, it waves on the table. I was really concerned about what was my first prints gonna end up looking like. So the printer came with this quick start manual with really small print and really small wording, and I'm telling you it's useless. The video they have on their website is much better. The link is in the description. So of course I could not wait to test this thing out. So I decided to print this Spartan from the SD card that came with the printer. And this is an SD D card holder with a USB key holder and it came out absolutely amazing for my first print it was three and a half hours it's absolutely gorgeous most of the supports are easy to break off some of them were a little bit challenging so if you've seen some of my other videos you know that I love to print brims but in this case I found these calibration cubes on the maker world website that bamboo labs owns and so i printed some of these calibration cubes they came out amazing the smoothest cubes i've ever printed had success first time it's absolutely beautiful so printed three of them very very consistent out of the test material that they gave me okay i know they claim this thing is quiet and it may be quiet in comparison to some printers but this one is definitely not quiet in comparison to the bed slingers that i've got the bed slingers i had them beside me when i'm watching tv and it didn't interfere with the quality of my viewing but this thing i would not want this thing next to me while i'm watching tv it's an amazing printer, but it's noisy in my opinion. I know that you can see that I've printed all these Buell motorcycle logos, and I'll get to that in a moment. But I bought the printer with the AMS with a flat sheet. I bought some spare parts. You can see I bought seven rolls of filament because I'm going to put this printer to work. I'm going to make it earn its living. Oh. Mayhem Smiley, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna open up a shop and I'm gonna sell some of my 3D designs on that shop. Oh wow, awesome. I'm just gonna go through print by print uh, my experience with this thing so far and I'm gonna share the good parts and the parts that were not so great. So the next item that I printed was this Thibodeau tag and I cannot get over how smooth the orange is, how clean the edges are. This came from the two rolls of test filament that they gave with the printer. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've probably been wondering about all those Buell signs. Well, I printed this very first Buell sign from my buddy. He drives a Buell. I wanted to give it to him as a gift, but it's got pimples on it. I know I can be a bit of a perfectionist, but I couldn't give that to him with those pimples on it. And I wondered, why does it have the pimples? So, of course, I had to go down the rabbit hole of doing some testing. So I'll show you those tests. And I didn't want to keep testing on those large signs because it uses up a lot of material. So I ended up printing Lady Zombies. And I printed one of those and I ended up with a pimple in a very specific location. And I wondered, hey, if I print that again, will it show up in the exact same location? And it definitely did. So I was, I knew it had something to do with the file, but I didn't know exactly what it was. So I did some research and I ended up creating uh, a 3MF file. It seems like you can get much better quality out of 3MF files, very popular with Bamboo Lab. So I converted my file 
into a 3MF and I printed it again. Uh, okay, I didn't do the color change, but I printed it again and I have absolutely no zits on it. So I thought, ah, okay, I'm in good shape now. I'm going to try to redo my Buell sign and uh, reprinted that and it came out amazing except I ended up with little spots of blue on the white filament and I could not figure out what it was it was a strand so I went searching through the forums looking at settings and I decided okay I think I found it and I tried it again and again I ended up with the same little color spots on my white and you can't see it on the camera, but it really bugs me because I know that it's there. Otherwise, this is an amazing print. Anyways, some fine folks on the Facebook Bamboo Lab page ended up guiding me to the flushing settings, which I made a very small modification to of 0.1 more flushing between the color changes, and I ended up adding one top layer to the print and it just came out absolutely spectacular. I would dare say that this is probably as perfect as it gets. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to give it to my buddy. Okay, so I'm just performing test after test, getting this thing operational, and I decided I was going to try to print the poop chute for the color changes. So all those little filaments don't end up falling out the back. They end up falling into the slide and down the front here. And I mean, I ran out of orange part way through, so the machine paused, it waited, I showed up, saw it was out of filament, it was very, very easy to be able to pull one reel out, move it over, and then get this thing going again and finish it off. It came out super smooth, but I did end up having the first one I tried to print came unglued from the top plate. It could have been my bad. I didn't clean the plate beforehand, but I really didn't want to risk losing another print. So I added the brim, it stuck and it came out fantastic. That's where I'm at with my testing at the two week stage. So stick around as I make more discoveries, I'll be sharing more videos and I'll also share how I'm gonna put this thing to work so that it earns its keep just like my children. Woo! <laughs>